Word Director Made Simple. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own slideshow using the Slideshow Creator Tool in Power Director. I'll start by clicking on Tools and then Slideshow Creator. The Slideshow Creator takes only four major steps numbered along the top of the window. The first is to click on Import Your Photos. From here, I can click to import the files or import an image folder or use the media that I may have already loaded into the media library. I'll click on import a folder. I have placed only 10 images here. If there were many more, I could use the slider gadget at the top to make the thumbnail smaller so that I might be able to see all or most of them at one time or the window can be maximized to see even more if necessary. I can move any image around into any order that I want, or I can remove any that I don't want. I'm satisfied with these 10 that are already in chronological order based on the file name that I have given them. I'll click Next. Now comes the major part of using the Slideshow Creator. Cyberlink provides over 30 different templates. Let's keep things simple and just select Normal, which is a non-themed designer template. Along the bottom is the opportunity for background music, which can now be assigned. I'll click on the Add Music icon. A small Add Background Music window opens, and I have two choices for a source, either from a folder on my storage drive or from a list of music from Meta. I'll click on Meta, and then Atmospheric, and then Lost in the Moment. I can click on the play button to confirm that that is the sound that I want. Notice that it is 3 minutes and 11 seconds long. That could have a bearing on how long the slideshow would be for only 10 images. We'll see exactly how that works in just a little bit. Once confirmed, I'll click on OK to download the music and it will appear in the list to be part of the slideshow. At this time, I can select other music to add another music piece to the list if desired. For the time being, I'll just click on OK. We may come back to this window in just a little bit. Just below the option to add background music is a very important button, the Slideshow Preferences. This is the button that will determine how long your slideshow will be and in which order the images will be displayed. The duration setting is very important. If you leave it as fit music to photos, then this particular normal template allows about three seconds per image. If you select fit the photos to the music, then my slideshow would be three minutes long or about 18 seconds per image. I'll click on OK. There is yet another method to set the image duration. I'll show you. I'll click again on the Add Music icon, which reopens the Add Music window. I'll click on the one and only piece of music to select it. And there is the ability to trim this music down from the three minute play time. Let's assume that I want each of the 10 images to display for five seconds each. That's a total of 50 seconds. So I'll trim the music down from three minutes to about 50 seconds by sliding the yellow bar from the ending to the left or closer to the beginning until the duration reads about 50 seconds. I'll then click OK. I'll then click the slideshow preferences again to make sure that the duration is set for the photos to fit the new music duration and click OK. Back on the template window, I'll click on Next. In the preview window, 
Just to double check on how long this slideshow is now set for, I'll move the playhead all the way to the right, which is the end, and I'll look at the time. It is set for about 50 seconds. Okay, let's return to start and hit play. If you notice, each image still is displayed for about three seconds which means the slideshow starts to repeat itself after 30 seconds. And also notice that each time you recreate the slideshow, transitions are all randomly assigned. That starts to look very tacky in my opinion and is one reason why I don't like this particular template. In spite of the option to fit the photos to the music, the three second image duration cannot be changed, so in order to meet the 50 seconds of music, the template merely repeats itself until time is up. So let's try a different template. I'm gonna click on previous, and I'm gonna select the frozen space template. I'm gonna click on the add music icon, and you notice that I can keep the same music and time limitations that were previously set. The music remains trimmed to about 50 seconds. You'd think that would give each of the 10 images about 5 seconds to display. I'll click on OK to close the Add Background Music window. Once again, I'm going to click on the Slideshow Preferences just to make sure that I have chosen to fit the photos to the music, and then click OK to close the Slideshow Preferences window. I'll click on Next to listen to and watch the preview. I'll click on Play. Within the preview window, there is another button called Customize. I'll click on Customize to see what is available for the Frozen Space template. The available options here will vary template by template. In this particular template, you can actually crop each image or zoom in to whatever pleases you. I'll click on OK to exit the designer. Let's make one final change to see if we can get all 10 images within the 50 second time limit. Once more, I'll click on the Slideshow Preferences button. Because I have set the music to only 50 seconds, I'll now click on Fit the Photos to the Music and click OK. I'll then click on Next to go to Preview. I'm going to jump forward to the 40 second mark just to see what happens and I'm going to continue to play. So that worked, all 10 images in just a little over 50 seconds. Once I have previewed the entire slideshow, I'll click on Next. The final step is production. Your choices are to export the slideshow to create a movie file or to burn a CD or DVD or go to Advanced Editing, which merely places the finished template on the normal timeline in PowerDirector. I'll click on Advanced Editing. Notice that the video track is modified to in indicate that it is a slideshow clip. There is nothing new that you can do to this video clip but you can add a title at the front of it to let viewers know what the slideshow is all about and when it happened. So let's quickly add a very simple title at the beginning. I'll click on Titles at the top menu and drag down the default title to the timeline. I want to place it at the very beginning. I'll select Insert and Move All Clips. I'll select the title and hit F2 to open the Advanced Title Editor. I'm going to click anywhere in the text 
I'm going to hit Control A to select everything. And then I'm going to type in my trip to Hawaii. I'll hit return and then I'm going to type in December 2017. I'm going to center the second line and then I'm going to select horizontal and vertical center for the entire text box. And then I'm going to click OK to return to the timeline. Below the video track is the audio track that was created by the slideshow template. Even now in this advanced editing mode you can change the music just by deleting the existing one and adding in a different one. I'm going to select the audio clip and hit delete. I'll then click on media, background music, meta, and select a different music piece. I'll click on Hawaiian and then find one of my favorites, Glow of the Moon. I'll drag it down to the audio track, making sure that it is it is at the very beginning of the title so that the music plays even while the title is being displayed. Notice that the music is much longer than the title in slideshow presentation which is now about 57 seconds long. I can just trim off the end until it matches the slideshow, but sometimes doing just a trim off the end results in an abrupt ending to the music, even with a fade out applied. First, I want to get rid of the very ending portion of silence. I'll split the audio where the silence begins and then, and then delete that small portion. Next, I'm going to use the Smart Fit for Duration feature. I'm going to select the audio, click on Edit, and then Smart Fit for Duration. Now here I can choose my own custom duration or I can select fit the audio to the end of the project, which is what I want. I'll make that selection and then click OK. Magically my audio is now the same length as the video track. The squiggle line on the audio track is where the smart fit made the intelligent adjustment to fit together the two parts for the proper duration. I'll now hit play and listen to how it sounds. If the sound is too loud, I can move the volume line up or down or to wherever I want it. I'll move it down just slightly because, after all, it is background music. The one thing now lacking is a fade in and fade out. I could make those adjustments to the volume line manually, or I can just select the audio, click on edit, and then volume and fade. I can now click on both of the fades to add them to the audio clip. After that, Everything is done. The slideshow is complete. All I would have to do now is click on the blue export button at the top to create my movie or upload it directly to a social media source or burn a CD or DVD. And don't forget when you create your slideshow, you don't have to settle for such a plain looking title that I currently have. So I'm going to add a little bit of color to that plain title. I'm first going to drag it down to video track 2 because I want the text to appear on top of what I'm about to add into track 1. Then from the overlays menu at the top, then stickers, then travel, I'm going to find my favorite one called parasol sunset. I'll drag that down to the empty spot on track 1 that was vacated by the title. Now I can move the playhead to start and hit play. The 
lesson to be learned here is that all of these templates have different benefits over each other. You're going to need to experiment around with just about 10 images just to see what happens in each template. Find one that you like and get creative. Phew, I finally made it through all of that. In the next video, I'll show exactly what happens when the choice is one of the theme designer templates. If you think this one was complicated, just wait and hold on to your hats. Once again, thanks to everybody for watching. Please hit that subscribe button.